Hello there, it's Live Seek Resin. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the third time that I'm actually doing this voiceover as I keep on pressing the wrong button. So I'm hoping you're going to hear this this time. So I'm in a bit of a panic with this particular pour because I've mixed up, mixed up way too much resin. Um, doesn't normally happen to me because I normally measure out quite carefully how much resin I need by pouring water into the mould and then measuring how many millilitres that is to make up. And um, But I've got these new mixing cups and I will be doing a bit of a review on them um, as soon as I get through this backlog of what, what I have been putting together. Um, and yeah, I misjudged it, but uh, luckily I'm the ratios I mixed up were fine, so the actual resin itself cured, so that's all that matters. So I was just trying to use it wisely, and this has been in my head for a little while. Um, so I just grabbed some glitter, some extra strong mint from Resonate pig, um, powder, mica powder, which is this stuff. Um, mermaid by Ranger, which is an alcohol link, which I'll be dropping in in a minute, and a bit of opaque white um, from Resonate again. Casting crafts a bit difficult to get a hold of in the UK, and I've kind of given up, but this stuff seems to do the trick just fine. Um, and you only, you know, you don't need that much of it. I think I was being a bit too sparing there and went in for another blob, but you don't need much. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just showing you quickly here how I mix it up, which of course you are able to figure that one out on yourself, by yourself. Um, so in my true fashion, I'm unable to add just a little bit of anything and squeeze the bottle far too hard and it all comes out at once with alcohol ink. Um, it does spread a bit, so um, never mind. Uh, I just love this colour anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'll be adding a bit of the piñata white alcohol ink on top, but in I've decanted it into another bottle. Um, so hopefully I've got more of a chance of a smaller blob coming out. Um, I apologise for the laughing in the background, but that is my son is watching a YouTube video. Um, so here is, I'm just putting in some tumble stones. Now I think Becky from Resin Supplies Den does supply these. I didn't get these from her. This was before I knew about it. Um, so Resin Supplies Den, if you've not heard of it, is a Facebook group that I'm a member of. Um, that just supplies everything that you could possibly need and more it's a really nice in terms of resin sorry and uh, it's a really lovely community we share ideas and um, there's lots more coming with the group um, you can get really cheap molds there from Dennis Yvonne provides the glitter um, and inclusions and uh, Becky's providing sort of beach stuff and I will be doing another I will be featuring her stuff in another video coming up very shortly so yeah I'll link it down in the description if there's anything if you want to check them out they're a friendly bunch so go tell them I say hi anyway so I'm faffing around as per usual trying to get every single last tumble stone out and put it into the middle in hindsight I think I might have taken out the red ones but hey I'm being fussy and now I'm actually managing to drizzle on the, the mint which seems to go really really well with these colours and I'm really happy with them um, and then I kind of get resin head and that's it. I can just keep keep on chucking it in there and that's it really. Um, but I have learned that you don't actually need to put all of 
of the stuff in there if you've mixed up too much. So I do stop in a minute. Promise. Yes, I do. Yay. <laughs> um, and I use it in, you know, another smaller, smaller mould. So here's me just putting a little bit of the opaque white on. Um, just to add another effect. I think when you, when you add, like, obviously resin, alcohol inks, mica powders, pigments, they all have different densities. So you can achieve different effects with them depending on how you add them and where you add them. Um, and of course I can't resist messing with it so I have to give it a bit of a swirl. Um, it is a bit mesmerising isn't it? And bearing in mind this is Viva Vista Lake so this is actually a deep pour resin. Um, and it performed phenomenally well. I was so, so pleased with it. I'd actually forgotten that it was a deep pour. And, um, yeah. I just did this because I was short on time. And then it was afterwards I just thought, oh my God, that's not going to cure at all, is it? So, I still had more resin left over. So, here's me trying to warm up the resin a bit so it becomes a bit more liquid and easier to work with and um, I had no plan with this at all so I just thought I'll just make see if I can make another coaster and there are several stages at, in this video which I'm sure you will be screaming stop and I really wish I had but um you know what it's like when you've just got all these beautiful colours <laughs> and you just want to mess with it. Oh dear. So I quite like that and I wish I'd just left it there. Uh, but no, I had to add some more of this mermaid so I've, I'm putting that in now. And then I'm putting on obviously the, the piñata white to push that down. And the lids actually got caught in in the resin. Can you see on the right hand side? It's so annoying and it's always happening. Um, I'm sure that other people have experienced that with those little bottles, those little needle tip bottles. So, yeah, just obviously sped this up a bit because there's quite a lot of... I really wish I hadn't done this bit because I think it would have been nicer to just see how it, you know, what happened when you just put in the alcohol inks. Because I'd already put in the, the white spiral. And definitely, I should have definitely leave, left it here with the glitter. That should have been it. Because glitter really spreads. You You really need a lot less than you... Than, than I put in here um, but again hindsight is a wonderful thing isn't it and um, we shall wait and see the demold is coming up so you will see the results you'll be pleased to know um, and then I messed it all up anyway with the with heating it up to get rid of bud <laughs> so anyway we'll mold is coming up taking you down for a closer look and thank you so much for watching um see you in a minute there so it's saturday morning and i am demolding so these were my like oh my god emergency i have 200 milliliters of resin left over coasters um so i literally just grabbed loads of this stuff and just threw them in in a mold but this has been in my head, so it's good to get it out. <gasps> oh my goodness. <sighs> I love that actually the glitter's at the bottom. Again, this is lake. This is lake. This is not meant to do this. This is not meant for pores of this depth. I'm absolutely amazed. 
It's still a little bit bendy, but it is cured, look. God, I love that effect. Don't you just love that effect? I'm so, so pleased with this, and I like that it's actually, you know, the stuff is... The alcohol ink, use your words, Chantal, um, has actually sunk with the white. Oh, I think these are my favourite, actually. God, I love these. So, Booba Vista. So, Booba is the main company, I think, and Vista is their light art resin side. So, you can see that they are a bit bendy, but they have cured. And... I would always expect to leave these for a good month before curing, uh, before they were sort of fully heat resistant anyway. And then these, I thought, oh my god, I had more than 200, I have another at least 50, so I just threw this one together. So, oh my goodness. That is really interesting. Not quite as successful, I don't think, but it's still pretty. Thank you so much for... See, look, that one's bendy as well. But it's cured. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. So those are the two sides take you down for a closer look. Wow, hey. I'm so glad that these came off. Thank you for watching. Bye.